Hey everybody, welcome back. We have another product empties. I cannot believe that I'm going through products this quickly, but I'm really making an effort to kind of slow down on repurchasing things because I have a lot of little trial size products that I've built up over the way. You might see a lot of trial size things in here, but I'm really trying to get through those because those can go bad too. And I do travel a ton for my job, but I still don't think I travel enough to truly get through all of these products in a timely manner if I don't slow down on buying the full size products now. So let's dive in. First things first, something a little bit boring, but my contact solution. I obviously use this every single day, so these typically show up in product empties. This specifically is the Renew brand. It's a multi-purpose solution, and this is for like silicone lenses, which is the kind that I have. You have to be careful. For the longest time, I was buying kind of like off-brand contact solution just because it's something I always have to buy, and it was definitely the cheaper option but I was noticing that my eyes were drying out really quickly and it just wasn't doing the job. So my optometrist suggested that I use Renew or maybe there's another BioTrue. That's another really good brand. Now this jumbo bottle came with two other jumbo bottles and a travel size from Costco. It's for 20 bucks. That deal is crazy. Typically you can only get two of the normal size bottles for $20 at Target. So that's something that I will always, always, always buy at Costco going forward. This next thing I'm so sad to be out of because I really love this. This is the Murad Adriform Hydro Glow Aqua Peel Masks. As you can see, it came with this like jumbo sized Q-tip in every single mask packet and then also a sheet mask. This was saturated with some type of like exfoliating chemical or something. So you use that massive cotton pad thing to rub all over your face and then you apply the sheet mask and I loved it. It felt like it was really doing something extra. I love exfoliating my skin and I just thought that these were the most effective sheet masks that I've ever tried. Now these are kind of pricey as are most things from Murad but I'm so glad that I got it discounted in a FabFitFun add-on. This on on the other hand, I did not like. This is the H2O Plus Beauty Oasis Water Infused Hydrating Gel Mask. As you can see, this came in two parts. So that's one part that goes across your eye area and then your mouth area. But when I pulled this out of the package, it was completely dry. And at first I was like, shoot, I got a dud. This is all dried up. This is really old. And then I start reading on the back and it says, this single use hydrating facial gel mask provides intense moisture and a cooling sensation for a complexion that appears dewy and refreshed. The innovative water infused hydrogel technology ensures excellent adhesion to the skin, which I agree. It did stick to my skin really well. I could have probably run a marathon and that thing would not have come off. But it says bone Bonus, it's easy to use and mess free, no dripping or slipping to worry about. If I'm gonna use a sheet mask, I want it to be ultra hydrating. And this, I took it off my skin and my skin did feel really soft, but like I still felt like I needed to wash my face and then put on a full blown moisturizer afterwards. So would I repurchase this again? No. This came in a pack of three from Ulta and it's that H2O brand. I know it's chopped off, but I say this specifically to tell you that I did not think that it was effective. I have two more that I have to use and I'm not like super excited about it. I'm gonna use it, but I don't recommend this. I'm so sad that this is out. This is the Kristen S. Refine Signature Finishing Hairspray for all hair types. It's multitasking, it's a brushable finish, and I totally agree. I think that this hairspray did such a good job. It smells like it came from a fancy salon. I compare this a lot to my Living Proof hairspray that I have. It's also a light brushable hairspray. It has the exact same nozzle. I just think that this holds a lot better. This is also about half the price. This was like 12 some odd dollars from Target and the Living Proof one, I don't think smells as good. Still smells really good, but I like this salon smell a little bit better. And this holds the style better while still being extremely brushable. So I think that this is my favorite hairspray at the moment. And once I finish up my current Living Proof one, I will definitely go repurchase this one. Aw, this was good to me. And you can see there's a teeny tiny bit left, but it's nothing that I could actually get out of the spray nozzle. This is the Orlando Pit to Play Atmoshield Hair Protectant Spray. Again, another FabFitFun item that was a big hit for me. In my last unboxing that I can link for you below, I mentioned that they kind of include these types of products a lot, so here is evidence. Now, these are something that I use every single day to spray, detangle, and heat protect so that when I wake up in the morning, I can style my hair and feel good about it. So I fly through these things, and as you can see, this one was well loved. It smelled so good. It just made me want to go to the beach every time I sprayed this, which made it a little fun. Now, I will say the sprayer on this sprayed so wide that I felt like my counter and my floor and stuff were a little bit covered in the product every time I use this. So maybe if the nozzle were changed, I could have gotten a little bit more life out of it. Ah uh, yes, you can see, this is not empty. 
but this is very, very old. I know it looks really pink to you, but this has taken on a yellowish hue. Like it's taken on a more orangey look as the years have gone on. I got this like sophomore year of college or something. I don't know how many years it's been. Too many years to still have this perfume. So it's just time that I give this up. It's okay for me to say goodbye to this though because I have really fallen hard for my Skylar perfumes. They're a more natural hypoallergenic perfume brand that really takes a lot of pride in the ingredients that they're putting into their fragrances to make sure that they are not harmful to you because after all perfume is soaking into the skin. I have three of their scents, Isle, Coral, and Capri. Coral I think is my number one favorite followed closely by Capri and then Isle. They have this quiz you can go online and take and it'll kind of suggest a scent for you. If you're interested in a more natural perfume option, I highly, highly recommend. The next product is this Tea Tree Tingle Conditioner. Now I actually ran out of the shampoo this morning. It's just still in my shower and I didn't grab it and it's all wet. This came from Trader Joe's and was something dirt cheap like $2.99. I had heard really good things about this Tea Tree Tingle line. Like the body wash was supposed to be really tingly for the first couple of times it was definitely tingly and fun to use but then the novelty kind of wears off and you get used to it and this is just kind of strips your hair it's really good if maybe you've used a lot of products and you really want to get it clean tea tree is also supposed to be really good for people with dry scalps and I am definitely somebody that struggles with that and I did enjoy using this alternating it with a little bit more moisturizing shampoo not too moisturizing but just like a little bit more will I repurchase it maybe I don't think it was awful, and it's definitely a good option for $2.99. This is the Nexus New York Salon Care Color Assure Conditioner. Way too moisturizing. I don't have color treated hair. There's no reason I should have been using this product, but it was sent to me through Influencer, and I can't just waste products. Also, a lot of people I know don't color their hair, so I didn't really know who to pass this on to. Anyway, that's the sad story. This is not for me. I will not be repurchasing. This is the Paula's Choice Resist Barrier Repair Moisturizer with Retinol. This is, as it says, a really large Light lotion that minimizes signs of aging but the only thing about this product that's a little confusing is that when you're first starting out with retinol it's really I think personally better to start using it at the nighttime retinol can be kind of an extreme ingredient especially when you first start to use it so you always want to start using it in the lowest dose or quantity possible. It'll usually be noted by like a percentage of retinol. This I really wanted to be my nighttime moisturizer as I just dipped my toes into the, the retinol world. But because it's such a light lotion, it wasn't necessarily the best thing for me to use at night. So I had to be sure to pair this with an oil. It took me a little time to get through it and I did like it. I don't know, it definitely moisturized, just not as much as I'm typically looking for at night. So I don't think that I would repurchase this until maybe I'm more comfortable using this in the daytime. And in that case, I'll have to pair this with a sunscreen just to be sure everything's gonna be okay. In the meantime, I have other moisturizers that I like better. This isn't bad. Again, it's just not exactly what I wanted it to be. This product is the biggest mystery to me. So this is the Mario Badescu skincare and it's their drying lotion. So how this works, as you can see from the back, there's like a little bit of liquid and then there's this pink substance that sits at the bottom. You're never supposed to shake it up and like blend the products together. You're supposed to take a Q-tip and dip it down into the bottle and then pick up a little of the pink stuff and like spot treat any acne that you have on your face. A lot of people swear by this stuff. I bought this on a recommendation from a couple of friends and I just did not think that it did such a great job of zapping pimples as they said it did. Maybe mine are a little bit more stubborn than the normal person, I don't know. But I also thought that this was a messy product and I definitely have like pink stains on my duvet cover from where I went to sleep with this on my face at night. So for me, the mess wasn't really worth it. Confession, I accidentally knocked this bottle over and I probably lost like from the liquid at this level to like down to here, but then the rest of it just straight up evaporated and I have no idea where it went. That's why it's a mystery product. So I don't think that I'll be repurchasing this as a spot treatment. I think that I'll probably stick with my origins like spot remover gel. I think that it does a better job personally. Ah yes, this is my ginseng energy boosting gel moisturizer. I talked about this in another video. It's like my most repurchased skincare. If that's up, I'll link it. If not, stay tuned. This is my favorite daytime moisturizer. This is in the gel variety. I just recently learned that this comes in a more hydrating cream variety for the exact same price. It does such a good job of layering well under makeup while providing all day moisture. I will continue to repurchase no doubt. 
kind of fun. And this one I have four makeup empties, which is kind of rare. And I think it's an accomplishment because it takes so long to run out of makeup products. So that means that these are some of my very, very favorite. One being this travel size of the Laura Mercier Loose Translucent Setting Powder. My friend Caroline and I freaking love this stuff. Um, I got it recommended to me by like every single person that's on YouTube and tried it and the hype is very real. I think that the product is exceptionally effective. It's so finely milled. I have it on today over that CC cream and you can still see a luminosity to my face, but my makeup isn't sliding everywhere because this powder sits so lightly and finely on top. It does a really good job of keeping your makeup on all day long. So much so that I have this travel size. I have another travel size that's currently in my travel bag and I have the full size sitting on my counter. I will never be without this. This is something that I'm really willing to splurge for because I, I really wanna avoid looking cakey and this is just a very, very effective powder. Also, you've seen one or two of these in a product empties in the past. This is the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara. This is the most perfect mascara, period. I just don't really need anything else, but I did get a mascara sampler kit thing for Christmas, so I'm trying to work through that, and I'm very sad that I'm not using this. It has the perfect shape for this natural bristle brush. It gets a lot wider here at the end, and then it kind of tapers and gets wider right here. It does a great job of really lifting your lashes and making them more voluminous while still looking full and uh, it just does everything right. The only thing it does wrong is dry out way, way, way too quickly. So you have to repurchase these all the time. But fortunately, they're only like eight bucks. Another most repurchased product. This is Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. And I buy mine in the shade Fair. I'm wearing this today with my other bottle that I've already repurchased. And I just think that this is a no fuss concealer. I've tried more popular items on the market and those with like doe foot applicators. And I really prefer to apply those more liquidy, more full coverage concealers with a sponge. But because I travel as often as I do, I really prefer a no fuss concealer like this one. You apply it with this very soft little sponge that's so easy. And then I just use my finger and kind of tap it in and I'm done. I also prefer BB cream CC creams foundations that I can rub in with my hands because it's just a lot easier I'm not traveling with additional brushes or tools I just like how it looks on the skin I will always have one of these in my makeup bag always this is the Tarte um, Sex Kitten little eyeliner. It's a liquid eyeliner, and you can see it's like a little bitty cat right here. And I actually got this in a FabFitFun box. It's just one of those felt tip liquid liners. And I think that it did a really good job. It was very, very easy to use because the felt tip marker stayed so rigid, and it really allowed you to get a really full straight line. I always use liquid liner on the top of my eyes, and I never put eyeliner on the bottom. I just kind of use mascara on the bottom lashes. And I really enjoyed using this. It lasted forever, but now it's just dried out. And so I recently replaced it with the Makeup Revolution Renaissance Flick Eyeliner that was also suggested through a lot of different YouTubers. So I have been enjoying that one as well. I just love this type of application of eyeliner. I also am out of two of my favorite natural deodorants. This one right here is the Zion Health Clay Dry Deodorant in the original scent. If you didn't know, I have two videos explaining all about natural deodorants, my switch to natural deodorants and why, and which ones are my absolute absolute favorite and these two are definitely among the top but everybody has a different preference so definitely go check out those videos if you're curious about switching because I do present other options and I kind of give you the real truth about how it is to switch from using an aluminum based deodorant to something more natural I truly truly think that my all-time favorite natural deodorant is the Schmitz lavender and sage deodorant. I think that this makes me smell the best for the longest period of time. Do I think that it blocks a lot of sweating? No, but it's not supposed to. It's not an antiperspirant. When I work out, I still smell perfectly fine when I'm done. Sure, I'm a little bit sweaty, but because I don't have those toxins in my armpits and stuff anymore, I really am not emitting any super bad smells. So I think that lavender and sage is now 100% my favorite. And last, but certainly not least, and this is not even all of them, are all of these different travel size products. Right now, I have a treasure trove of travel size hotel shampoo, conditioner, body washes, lotions, you name it. And I kept on taking them every single time I traveled. I would grab them from my hotel room. And then I got home and I was like, Maggie, this is 
out of control. So I have this Dove um, body wash out of that one. This is from the Kennet MD Dermatologist Approved Hair Care. This is their conditioner and another conditioner. And the reason you're not seeing shampoo is because I typically like to shave my legs using conditioner. So I've been using up all these tiny travel sizes of the conditioner to shave my legs. Then I also have this Disney H2O Sea Salt Body Wash. And this just reminds me of times at Disney. So I really, really love using this. And then this is the Corez Kerpo Citrus Shampoo. And that about wraps it up. I have some more travel products in the bag, but nah, this will just get boring. So hopefully this was informative. You learned a little bit about my trash. And if you like this video, then like it. Stick around, join the community, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.